Have you ever wondered why we yawn? It's a seemingly simple action that everyone does, yet it's shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Yawning is a fascinating phenomenon. It's known to be contagious, regardless of whether the yawning person is upside down, sideways, or upright. Our brains aren't concerned with how another's mouth is positioned. Seeing a yawn makes us want to yawn too. And for those who cannot see, just hearing the sound of a yawn can prompt them to yawn as well. It's an automatic response that transcends cultural and physical barriers. But it's not just us humans who are susceptible to this contagion. Yawning is observed in a variety of animals, from pigs and monkeys to crocodiles, snakes, and even some fish. This tells us that yawning is not a trait exclusive to humans. It's a universal action that transcends species and environments. The contagion of yawning starts early. Children as young as two can experience contagious yawning, with a significant increase in occurrence around the age of four. The reasons for this early onset and the sudden increase remain a mystery, a testament to the complexity of this simple act. When it comes to yawning, there's no in-between. It's an all-or-nothing action. The average yawn lasts about six seconds, and this duration is consistent across different cultures. Attempting to stifle a yawn by clenching your teeth feels uncomfortable, emphasizing that yawning involves opening the mouth as a key part of its mechanism. Interestingly, yawning is generally found to be very satisfying. It scores an average of 8.5 out of 10 in terms of pleasure according to research surveys. Intriguingly, the expression one makes while yawning is similar to that during an orgasm. There's an amusing suggestion to observe this similarity more closely through a specific mirror setup, though it's noted to have the opposite effect of an aphrodisiac. However, not everyone experiences the contagion of yawning. Research indicates that children and adults with autism may not experience yawning contagiously. This aligns with broader patterns of social interaction differences, adding another layer to the enigma of yawning. In conclusion, yawning is a universal action that is contagious regardless of the yawner's position or species. It starts at an early age and it's an all-or-nothing action that lasts about six seconds. While it's generally satisfying, not everyone experiences its contagion, particularly those with autism. So next time you yawn, remember, it's not just a simple act, but a complex phenomenon that is still not fully understood.